Good evening, my name is Bruce Montgomery and thank you for joining me on Technology Access Television. Today we're going to be talking about social media. Yes, again, we're going to be talking about social media. You know, this is something that's in the news, but I'm going to talk today about it from a perspective of a small business person. Why should a small business person even care about social media? What's in it for them? Today, my guest is someone who's been advising small businesses on developing effective social media strategies, and we're going to delve into some of the benefits, obstacles, and opportunities of getting some practical engagement out of creating social media campaigns to drive business opportunity and creating more customer value. My guest today is LaShawn Anthony, and LaShawn, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. And you are a consultant with Visuals for You. Yes. Thank you so much for taking some time today. Now, you've been running some workshops and doing some trainings. Uh, how did you come to put your curriculum together for small businesses to show them the ropes of social media marketing? Well, I have pre been presenting uh, workshops and seminars for some time on different business-related topics, but it uh, became uh, aware to me that business owners were increasingly looking for this social media information. And uh, I must admit, I was one to adopt it, uh, you know, not as quickly as others myself. And so as I looked more into it, I saw how effective it can be for small business owners. And in terms of putting together a curriculum, it was through my own implementation of it and talking with other business owners that I found the strategies that I needed to make it work for me and help it work for others. So when we talk about social media and these tools, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Foursquare, YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, there is a lot of misconception about these tools. Many of us say, well, isn't that just for the weekend or after work or personal activity, but it's really becoming a, an essential part of customer engagement. Uh, what are some of the first things a business needs to do when they begin to piece together? Mm -hmm. How can I make these tools work for me? What are some of the things they need to think about? Well, the first thing is not to jump in it just because everyone else is talking online. The second thing is to determine how much time you're going to devote to it and plot out a strategy. Mm -hmm. And in many cases with the business owners I've talked to, I've heard that they just don't have the time. And I recommend to them that they really shouldn't be the ones to manually post themselves mm -hmm. because as the owner of the business, they need to be out there making the connections for their products or services rather than doing this type of what I'll call promotions administrative work. And so contract that out to someone else, even if it's a college student, so that you can get the work done. But uh, at the same time, it's not something that you can just dip into and then pick it up three or four days later. You really have mm -hmm. to do it on a regular basis and uh, post and um, interact with people who are following you, not just pushing out your message, but commenting on what others are saying and being, you know, engaging in discussions where there's a back and forth commentary, you know, asking questions so that people can respond rather than just posting information on your latest sale. Now, when you work with small business and business owners that are looking to be, have you seen some success stories? Have you seen where some people have actually been able to uh, create a Facebook page, create a Twitter account, and have that have a real impact on their business that they're able to measure? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I was at a networking meeting on Tuesday, and this gentleman mentioned uh, he has an online magazine. He mentioned that uh, he was considering selling his boat. And then because of his uh, discussions with other people about social media, he decided to post a message that he was willing to rent his boat. And every weekend, you know, he now has that boat 
rented out mm -hmm. and has an additional income coming in, whereas previously, you know, that wasn't drawing anything for him. So he was ready to give the boat up. He was getting ready to sell it. Okay. Yeah. And, and through so that kind of interaction and dialogue, it created an income it stream. It created an income for him, and he's extremely happy. So that's just, you know, one instance, mm -hmm. but there are so many more, and it just depends on what you want it to do for you. You know, everyone's social media strategy is not going to have the same results, and it, sh and it shouldn't because some people sell products, some others have services. And uh, the amount of time that you put into it, what you say, uh, how many different networks mm -hmm. you choose to talk on uh, is going to be different for each business owner. So when somebody's starting out and says, mm -hmm. okay, uh, I've got a small business, I've got a restaurant, I've got a photography studio, I've got an accounting firm, a law firm. Mm -hmm. I want to begin to start this process. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have a Facebook business page, I don't have a fan page. How do I start? How do I get going? What are the steps to get up and running? Mm -hmm. And what's some reasonable expectations I can have um, over what kind of period of time? So let's say uh, I want to get going, I'm prepared to spend uh, 10 minutes a day or 15 minutes a day kind of working at this, or maybe I'm willing to get someone on my staff or someone I have access to to kind of work it a little bit each day. Mm -hmm. w what are some of the things I need to do to get going, mm -hmm. and then what some ex expectations I should have as to how it's going to benefit my business? Well, the first thing I can say is it's going to take more than 15 minutes okay. <laughs> of your day. All right. That's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is, you know, you've got to get on Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn and create those accounts. All right. Then the second thing is to develop the profile, so to speak. Okay. And in each of those different platforms that I just mentioned, the look of your profile page is extremely different. And with Facebook, there are just, you know, hundreds of different applications, so to speak, that you can pull in and use uh, for that Facebook fan page. So Now, shouldn't people have some basics uh, ready, like they should have their logo? Or they should a, have a logo. They should have a good logo mm -hmm. for their business, something that they have in different sizes, and a, a JPEG image or a PDF right, file or something upload. ready to go. Then they should have some decent uh, photography. Uh, exactly. photography of their business, photography of their product, photography of the people right. uh, that are going to be providing service. You know, when I go look at different people's sites, I I'm amazed at uh, the variance in quality. Some people have, you know, a professional photograph and they have their logo and everything, and it, and it is a great, uh, great poster for their business. Other people, it looks like, you know, they took it with the, you know, their camera and they're holding their own picture and it's fuzzy exactly. and it looks like you can see their hand or something in the mirror. And impressions are key, right? Just right. as you said, you can go from one fan page to another and see so many differences. And so um, how you project yourself is one thing, but what I always recommend to clients is to make certain that every time someone goes from one social network to another, that your branding stays the same. Okay. And you're easily recognizable. And that look, the colors, so are while, not changing from one site to another. So while to actually do a lot of this mm -hmm. is free, it doesn't cost anything to establish a Twitter account, a LinkedIn account, a Facebook page, or right. a YouTube, you may have to spend some time and maybe some money making sure that the image that you project mm -hmm. right. is consistent with the image you want to project for your business. Absolutely. So if you go out and you get a high quality professional photograph done, that's a good investment. If you get a good logo designed by a graphic designer, that's a good investment. Mm -hmm. uh, I I if you get even some copy mm -hmm. where you have some things written, the same way you would approach getting a professional brochure, you would approach to creating to create networks. electronic creative and social media exactly on Twitter for example uh, many people and it didn't start out this way but many people now have custom backgrounds yes that includes not only their uh, website address but a photo of mm -hmm. themselves because uh, that is not available as you know what the sites call profile pics mm -hmm. you know, so you many can go times beyond that to have you a can background. go beyond that to have a completely custom 
uh, Twitter background, and so I designed those for clients. I designed the cover photos mm -hmm. for Facebook um, fan pages or profile pages, and that can be done by you know any graphic designer. So now, as people start to create goals, should mm -hmm. they have goals to say, you know, I want to have so many Twitter followers or I want to have so many Facebook fans. Is it realistic to have a number in mind to say, I want 10,000 fans or I want 10,000 likes? Or should people approach it another way? No, I really don't agree with the numbers goal mm -hmm. because uh, the quality of follower mm -hmm. is much more important than the numbers. Than the numbers. Right. Uh, there are many people out here who will tell you that they can get you 2,000, 5,000, mm -hmm. 20,000 mm -hmm. followers by doing X, Y, Z. Yeah, but so what? Yeah, but what is most important is that you are able, or whoever is managing the network, is able to really engage with those people to mm -hmm. keep conversations going, to keep them interested, to keep them coming back. And so that means whether it's every day, every other day, you are putting content out there that's going to attract their attention. Otherwise, they're going to be looking through their news feed and commenting, retweeting, uh, sharing someone else's posts. Mm -hmm. you know. Now, you bring up a very good point uh, because one thing that's happened clearly over the last two years is that a majority of the way that people interact with social media is now from a smartphone or mobile device. Right. So many people may be, uh, you know, taking the train to work, mm -hmm. um, you know, work at the health club, right. and they just g glance at their phone or something, and that's when they're really interacting with that. Right. So uh, people have to recognize that this is what's going on, that this is a part uh, of, of what's happening. So people are taking pictures with mobile devices. It, mm -hmm. It's a 24-hour it's a thing. It's not just something for a particular time of the day. And I'm glad you brought that up because many business owners right now, because they're so focused on their business, they're concerned about, I need to update my website. You know, there's so much I need to do in regard mm -hmm. to my website. But the realistic fact that you just mentioned, everybody, the majority of people rather, are mobile. Yes. And they are doing everything. They're on these mm -hmm. networks from their phone. They're mm -hmm. posting from their phone. They're uploading pictures from their phone. And so uh, I just learned when I attended uh, a Google event earlier this month mm -hmm. that you can get a mobile website created for free. That's right. Through Google. Google. That's correct. And uh, this was news to me, happy to learn it, you know, uh, but there is so much information out there in terms of plugins and things that business owners can use in order to advance their business, increase traffic, but do they know about it? And now, so you, now you've been involved with the JVS Duman Center and you've been mm -hmm. offering some classes. Uh, it, are you going to offer some more of these classes and are they free mm -hmm. for small businesses to take so that they can learn how to work this social media for their business benefit. Are you going to be offering some more of these workshops? Yes, I was very fortunate in that uh, Jewish Vocational Services asked me to uh, present four workshops mm -hmm. between this year and next year. And so the way that they're designed is that two of them will be beginners workshops and two will be advanced workshops. Okay. And we're calling them workshops because it's not just a presentation. People are actually bringing in their tablets, their laptops, and they're doing the work. Oh, good. You know, so it's hands-on. And hands implementing is hands-on mm -hmm. right there within the two hours that I'm talking and they're and they're talking. So if know. people want to get in touch with you to find more about uh, these upcoming workshops, what's the phone number they can reach you at? Well, they can reach me at 773-289-8915. And if they want to find you on Facebook, where should they look? My username is visuals and then the number four, the letter U. Okay. Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, 
visuals for you. But in regard to the JVS social media classes, they should go to their website because the registration is on their site. Okay. And then they would go to jvschicago.org. Okay, jvschicago.org. Well, JVS Chicago is the Jewish Vocational Center, and that's the Duman Center in downtown Chicago, and that's where LaShawn Anthony is going to have a couple of her social media workshops. So if you like this conversation today and you want to get your social media strategy together for your business, I suggest you go to jvschicago.org or you uh, look up visuals for you on any platform and you will be brought face to face with Deshaun Anthony. Deshaun, thank you for joining me today. Thanks so much, Bruce. All right, I appreciate it. And thank you for watching Technology Access Television. My name is Bruce Montgomery. We'll see you next time.